Today I'm going to show you how to take a submersible uh, DC water pump and attach a water level sensor switch to it in a way that allows it to protect it from operating when the water gets below the point of operation. The submersible water pump requires uh, it to be fully submersed while it operates, otherwise it'll burn out. So um, this is going to be a pretty cool project. What we're going to do is uh, ultimately we're going to orient the clip on the back and kind of assemble this level switch back here in a way that uh, triggers it right at the right uh, threshold or water depth. So uh, we'll show you how to do that. We've covered the pump and the retaining clip with painter's tape where we don't want to get contact adhesive. This is the contact adhesive you use. It's a 3M90 uh, contact adhesive. Uh, it's going to bond the polypropylene together. So let's go ahead and apply it. So you want to get it in all the areas where you're going to glue, and that's kind of the template that we want. And then once you get it on there, you can be generous with it. Flip it around, and it's going to need to sit for about at least 30 seconds, maybe up to a minute or so before you bond it. And then we're going to get the top part too right there because that's where we're going to bond. So we've removed the O-ring from our uh, water level sensor switch and we're re-threading the nut and we want to get our tape off. Press it in firmly, re-thread. While you're doing this, it's helpful to thread it and turn it so that so it'll fit flush up against the back of the pump, and you'll see that when we do that. Then just take this and set it aside. We're gonna let that sit for just a minute, and while we're letting that sit quickly, we're gonna put some bond adhesive to our pump. I'm just going to let that sit for about 30 seconds. You'll see this is kind of bubbly, and that's good. That's what you want to see. You can blow at the bubbles if you want to speed it up a little bit. Then what we do is you kind of want to slide this on here and orient it in a way where the nut, let's see if you guys can see that, is flush with the back of the pump so you can get as much push on it. But what you can do too is if you really want to get a good fit down in there and you're not too too concerned with aesthetics, you can spray some some of the bond adhesive right back up in that groove right there and that'll help real good. You can do the same on these sides. Okay, let that set dry for about 20 minutes. Now we're gonna take our O-ring and this uh, cut of plastic screen, um, and we're gonna make a filter. Uh, this pump's gonna sit at the bottom of a reservoir, so the intake, we're just gonna filter out any kind of heavy sediment. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fold this screen up uh, like so, uh, make a couple passes, and then take our 3M adhesive again. Just get some around the rim of that, the rim of the pump, and then take your filter over the mouth, and you can just kind of force your O-ring over it, and it goes over nicely, and that'll hold it in place, and then that will dry. There you go. What you're going to want to do is make sure the floater moves freely. Up here is going to represent water uh, being sufficient enough to keep operating. And this is going to represent the water level being depleted to where we've got to protect the pump. So if you guys didn't want to buy one from the IoT store, we just wanted to show you how to make your own if you wanted to save a little money.